taarifa za jukwaa la KTN ikiwa ni sehemu ya swala nyeti leo tunaangazia sakata nyingine ambayo inatokota humu nchini ambayo inatia maisha yako hatarini hasa unapoenda kule dukani au hospitalini kwenda kutafuta tiba kwa hivyo una unafikiria unajiganga ka, lakini unajua eh, la, da, kwa kutojua lakini wale wanaokuuzia zile dawa wengine wao wanajua Jimmy Costa anasema ai wa Kenya tunajua kujitafutia umaarufu kwa kuiba pesa eh imekuwa ni kama biashara ya kitaifa eh Collins na Rianga anasema ji sisi tunakunywa dawa za kienyeji miti shamba kuna gushi tutaepuka vipi kama kunayo kunayo mm. kuna gushi miti shamba uh, we na mwenye alikupa yeah, miti shamba yeah. unajua na hapo yeah. mm. yeah. yeah. uh, Evans shukran sana kwa kutazama taarifa za jukwaa la KTN uh, gentle uh, Brian Uh, wahusika wafungwe uh, kwani siku zao za 40 zimewadia Gabi uh, Auka anasema mimi wa kumlaumu ni wale ambao wametukwa jukumu la kuangazia ubora yeah, zile asasi ambazo zimetukwa jukumu la kuangazia ubora humo nchini kwa kuwa ni vipi ambavyo vifaa gushi au maligushi naingia humo nchini basi na wao kujua si ni utepetevu kazini na ukamaliza pale kwa kusema it's a shame mm. je yeah, hapo ndio lawama inastahili kuanza kwa asasi ambazo zinastahili kuangazia ubora wa bidhaa. Yeah. I think uh, if you are honest kama tuko na inisha nini if you are honest as Kenyans hapo ndio that's, that's 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 where the back stops. Yeah. If it's the president who's bringing yani if it's the president who's responsible the back stops with him. But uh, just the same way tuliona uh, Kebs yeah. Uh, the, um, Kebs took responsibility kwa kuleta fake sugar. Sio, yeah. So we are saying here even here um, uh, our colleagues in the in the in the in the, res, in the respective bodies yeah whether it's whatever body it is yeah we are saying please take responsibility because I think now uh, as uh, as a country we we started seeing the director of public prosecution starting to work. This is the first time to know na mimi kama mkenya na zapeleka reporti kwa director of public prosecution na afuatio reporti mbaka mwisho. Yeah so we come uh, I think in, in uh, just to summarize mpaka penye tumefika sasa hizi tumesema we come Kenya uko empowered yeah tafuta pharmacist wako na commit kwa hiyo pharmacist because hapo ndo sisi tunaweza kusaidia kwa kama wewe ukienda kujitafutia dawa unajitafutia tu dawa unanunua tu chip 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 utapata mwenye amekuzia fake hatuwezi kusaidia kwa sababu hiyo sasa ni, ni police case but sasa ukienda ununue kutoka kwa pharmacist yeah ajitambulishe akwambie my name is eh, kama mimi dr louis machogu hapa ndio niko wewe na familia yako ndawapea ndawa, dawa ndawatibu ndawaambia eh, eh, maoni ma, kuhusu dawa yako hivi unafaa kuitumia ukishaitumia kila mwezi na review napata ile medication action plan na angalia madawa wengine hata kama unatumia dawa za kienyeji naweza angalia nione hii effect umeona hii nikusaidie kwa sababu sasa ukienda kutumia dawa kivyako uko peke yako tu landikiwa dawa unaenda kutumia inaweza kukudhuru ya yeah? na nani uko naye so, sisi wasema wewe kama um, Kenya na familia yako maybe iko na diabetes iko na um, uh, kama tulipata ile ripoti ya dawa uh, epilepsy yeah. yeah epilepsy kis, uh, kifafa kifafa mm -hmm. dawa za kifafa tulemba almost um, 50% of them are are not genuine yeah? so wewe kama unatumia kutoka kwa a pharmacist a registered pharmacist we can take away his license yeah to penalize Yeah? the same way kila family kona lawyer wakili wake yeah? mkiwa na kesi mnojo wakili wenu ni nani mtampelekea kesi e, kama wewe ni mgonjwa na unatumia madawa kwa muda mrefu unafaa kuwa na pharmacist wako ndio pate e, ile uh, the right information kuhusu madawa yako na pia ukapata kwamba hiyo dawa alikupa ni fake ama yale mawaidha alikupatia sio unamleta kwetu na tunaweza kusaidia na kupeleka hiyo kesi mpaka mwisho wake ya yeah? yeah. na tukifanya hivyo sasa uh, pale utapata au 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 um, uh, ni traders wale yeah? wanauza tu madawa tu kama kama ni peremende ya yeah? wanakuzia pale kwenye kishimo unaona unapea tu dawa nipatie box box ndi hii nipate kama hii anakupatia dawa na crucia kupatia mawaidha ya yeah? so wewe kama mgonjwa hapo unaweza saidika jisaidie mwenyewe na upande huu mwingine ni ukipata dawa kama huo mkenya mwe amesema anatumia frano na si frano hii inafanya hii haifanyi tupatie hiyo ripoti mm. ya yeah? ripoti hiyo tutaipeleka kwa director of public eh, tutafanya kwa kwa labs zetu tuangalie tupate iko ama hiko 
kama haiko tupeleke kwa da, director of public prosecution na na pia pharmacy and poisons board. Unajua kinachosikitisha hata zaidi ni kuangalia yale magonjwa ambayo yameorodheshwa. Ya. Yaani wameona pengo kabisa, wanaona kwamba hapa ndio tutachumia kabisa mm, mm, kwa wagonjwa wa kifafa, mm, kisukari, mm, asthma, mm, ulcers, mm, cancer, mm, shinikizo la damu, mm, ugonjwa wa figo. Mm, kwa sababu ni kwamba wanaona wata, watauza kwa kipindi kirefu. Exactly. Kwa hivyo yes. tangu rais atoe kauli yake, yeah. mwezi alipokuwa meru. Yes, exactly. June. Mm mwanzo wa mwezi uliopita yeah exactly na tunajua kongamano la uh, wiki jana mm. hata waziri alihudhuria wakati mm. ripoti hii hizi zilikuwa zikitolewa mm. mm. tangu haya yote kuna hatua zozote zimechukuliwa yeah. au tunasema tu yanapita tu yanasahaulika inakuwa mm. ni kama hakuna kitu ambacho kimesema kimesema i think uh, that has been the culture but uh, we are seeing that changing yeah in the sense that uh, institutions zinaanza kufanya kazi yao yeah and it's a good thing but however since uh, the president said i think to me to mona uh, like even from the minister of health to me part, small steps yeah there's small steps but we're saying there's a, a lot of urgency on this because um, because uh, what do you call this uh, universal health is a big agenda mm -hmm. yeah for government yeah mm -hmm. and we're saying us as professionals we are there to help them yeah but la muhimu pia public anafaa kuwa involved yeah the public we come we come nunuzi we come teja we come gonjwa yeah because government cannot know kwamba ulitumeida au haikufanya lazima upeane report mm. yeah so tupatie report na nimekuwa hapa ni, nimesema and, and i'm committing myself and my organization already we have reports and we are analyzing them we will be publishing those reports and if we find members who are uh, who are who are responsible that's a police case yeah we take it to that because uh umesikia wengine wanakuwa wanakuwa prosecuted na manslaughter yeah that is what it is cuz unapata wagonjwa wetu wapendo wetu wanaenda uh, tunawazika kwa sababu tukisema oh hiyo uh, hiyo saratani limaliza na amekuwa kitumia dawa tumekuwa tukinunua dawa so so swali liko hapo tunafaa tukuchunguza issue iko wapi lakini ni wewe kama mtazamaji kupatiana report na yeah. tuseme nimekutumia dawa ambayo ni gushi na bado mm. labda kwa bahati ama kwa mm, mm. kwa, kwa sababu Mungu amenipoonya sure. kwa hivyo labda nilitumia dawa na sikujua mm -hmm. kuna vile ambavyo mtu anaweza kuangalia hiyo dawa na akajua ni gushi umetueleza hata wataalamu hawezi kujua yeah. kuna kitu chochote ambacho mtu anaweza kuangalia akajua kama dawa ni gushi na kumbuka yeah. kuna wakati ambapo walikuwa wanasema wanaeka maelezo pale yeah. ambayo unaweza kutuma ujumbe unapata iwapo mm. hiyo dawa ni mm. halali au la mm. ni vipi mtu anaweza kujua wakati ambapo ananunua hiyo dawa weka weka mnunuzi unjua kama pharmacist kuna kuna njia zao yeah? za kujua gani ni all you have to do is buy from the genuine source. Mm. Mtu akija pale na briefcase ame, ameleta dawa sijui kwa kutoka kwa airport ama kwa container ilikuwa na nguo na katikati kuna dawa ame, ame, anazi anakuletea na backdo usinunue yeah wewe kama pharmacist na wewe kama mgonjwa kama wewe kama Kenya yeah vile unaweza saidika ni, ku, ni kuwa hata hiyo dawa hata simu tunauziwa simu inafanya lakini sio imeandikwa Samsung lakini si Samsung mm. yeah ndo maana tunasema wewe nunua dawa yako kwa the right person na akikupea dawa aeke ile sticker yao imeandikwa hapo kama Dr. Louis Machogu Pharmacy si ndio mm -hmm. aiandike hapo ndio achukue responsibility mm -hmm. utapata pale order pewa tu dawa haijaekwa sticker ya yeah? ukakuja usema ati hii dawa ni nunua hapa so atakuruka mm -hmm. ya yeah? kama ilikuwa hivyo inakuru ya yeah? patient um, bought medicine it was it was fake by the time they went back wakapata the pharmacy has stopped because now the media came yeah mm. the pharmacy closed they even repainted the place the people who are there are not there anymore so mm. you have to make sure you know who your pharmacist is once you know because you can search on the pharmacy and poisons board can eh? me dr machogu eno angalie kweli niko pale yeah ukishapata niko namba yangu uko nayo registration number kama yangu ni 1940 yeah registration number yangu kama vile police wako na namba zao so that the pharmacist wako anafaa kwa namba yake hapa imeandikwa 1940 dr louis machogu si ndio hapo wewe chukua ripoti yako ushaandika hii dawa ni nokrokwa dr louis machogu ndio ukapatikana jambo lolote ukuje kesho upate nimefunga sema ni pale dawa na dr louis machogu cuz serikali iko na namba yangu cuz ndio imenipatia hiyo namba na naweza ichukua na katika kumalizia tulitukianza ulikuwa ukizungumza kuhusu mapungufu ya sheria je ni wapi tunahitaji kurekebisha yeah. ili labda kudhibiti hali ilivyo kumwe mm. na pia ututajie kuhusu 
Mbona asilimia themanini ndiyo tunaagiza? Ni kwamba Kenya hatuna uwezo wa kujitengenezea dawa, hatuna makampuni yanayostahili mm. ama hatujiamini? Mm. Tatizo liko wapi? I think hiyo uh, swali la mwisho uh, ni, ni kusema kwamba hatujiamini kama wa Kenya. In Kenya we have 32, 32 uh, local manufacturers. Three of them are WHO pre-qualified. Kwamba they are producing medicine of the highest quality. This, these uh, industries utapata wakona 50% idle capacity. Kwa sababu, sisi kama wa Kenya nataka nipatie dawa ya Germany, nipatie dawa ya wapi, mm. dawa ya India, utaka kununua dawa ya wewe kama Kenya. Kama kwamba sasa una-export una kazi. Kwa sababu sema, oh, sina, uh, I can't afford medicine, unge kwa unanua dawa yako kutoka Kenya, hiyo kampuni ingeza kukuajiri, upatie uwezo wa kununua dawa pia. ya yeah? Upata kuishi maisha mazuri. So unasema kama wa Kenya, we need to move to buy Kenya to build Kenya. If you are saying our, our local manufacturers have 50% idle capacity, it's a free market. Importers wataita dawa zao, but we come Kenya kwa na choice. Can you say kwa pharmacist wako, nipatie ile dawa local manufactured, enye, we unayamini. There are 32 of them. Na, our colleagues are in those, in, in those uh, manufacturers, so that if they give medicine that is fake, we can put them to task. We mm. know their registration number. Mm. Yeah. So what is the Sharia. 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 Yeah, so I think it's important, because the pharmacy is a regulated space. Kama vile tu medicine, nursing, you know, like that. Eh? Mm. So pharmacy is a regulated space. Kama sa hizi, eh, Sharia za Afya zina kuwa reviewed. Yeah, na ile inaitwa uh, health committee ya parliament ya yeah? ambayo inakuwa chair na uh, mheshimiwa Sabina Chege ya yeah? and uh, tunakumkumbuka Sabina Chege did a very good job in the other parliament as as a, as a chair for education committee now as a chair of health committee ni atuhusishe sisi kama wataalamu ya yeah? ni tumweze kumwalizea cuz zile sheria zinatengenezwa but haujui zimeletwa na nani pale ya yeah? haujui mwenye alileta akona ako na interest gani kwenye hiyo hii space ya pharmacy kwa tunaambiwa pharmacy is a billion uh, dollar industry yeah. but sisi kama wataalamu tunashindwa billions zinaenda kwa nani cuz atuone but kuna wale wana, wana import hizi madawa na yeah. wana pia wana, wana influence ile sheria zifanye kwamba ziwasaidie hao kuleta tu madawa na zinaingia tu na hatujui yeah. so sema ni muhimu yeah. kama wana sheria watusaidie pia sisi na kwa kutuhusisha na kwa sisi kama professionals we are there to uphold public interest through professionalism. Naam. Yeah. Imekuwa ni nchi ya kuangazia sakata baada ya nyingine. Sakata moja ikiondoka nyingine inaingia. Watu mm. wanachumia tu kwa kutumia mabilioni mm. lakini wanaweka maisha ya wakenya hatarini. Mm. Siju watu wameondokwa na utu wameingiwa na unyama sijui mm. nini kimebadilika humo nchini. Mm. Lakini daktari tunasema shukran za dhati kwa kuja kutueleza kuhusu kinachoendelea. Tumefunguka macho sasa nadhani. Yeah. Uh, tunapoenda madukani kununua dawa kuwa mw, uh, mwenye umakinifu yeah. kwa sababu umeona pharmacist wako. Eh, wengine huku nje hawakujali, yeah. yeah. jijali wewe mwenyewe. Yeah. Tumekuwa na daktari Lui Machogu ambaye ni rais wa wanafamasia nchini. Shukran sana kwa muda wako. Na pia shukran mtazamaji kwa kutuazima sikio katika kipindi hiki muda usio kwa mrefu na rejea na taarifa za KTN leo. Usiende mbali. KTN News. Get the whole story. some sort of pandemonium in the newsroom. People were up and down at the skelter. Later on, I think uh, one hour later, I was assigned to go to the home.
she had no way of starting the fire. She had, it would have been in the totality of the evidence that was available. There was nothing to demonstrate that that was the case. Uh, and, um, and, and we stuck to that defense to the end. Try Dettel Even Tone. It cleans and helps to reduce the appearance of blemishes caused by oil, dirt and germs, giving your skin a healthy feel. Dettel, be 100% sure. <laughs> Na tunafurahia KTN kwa sababu wao wenyewe wanaenda wenyewe wanaefika mashinani. Lazima nitazame hiki kipindi cha KTN leo mashinani. Shoot this. different perspective. We celebrate news. The rain fall was a bit down. Arts <laughs> and culture. <laughs> Catch our Friday guest. I just didn't pass through school like some of us, but school passed through me. And learn proper pronunciations with Willis the word master. Stadium. Not stadium. stadium. Not stadium. <laughs> this is Friday Briefing. Bigger and definitely better. Tuna kuletea Pampers Baby Dry Mpia. Ndi udaipa peke iliona njia tatu za kusambaza unyevu nyevu kwa usawa. Hivyo basi haisaki kama daipa za kawaida. Sasa, hata daipa moja ya Pampers Original kwa 25 Bob 2. Get an emergency loan from Meridian Acceptance Limited financing up to 60% the value of your car at a very low interest rate just under 6 hours and enjoy a flexible repayment plan of up to 12 months. Visit our offices at Anniversary Towers, 1st Mezzanine Floor and Muthangari Road, plot number 38. Or call us at 704 Meridian Acceptance Limited. Honesty. Flexibility. Trust. This is KTN News.